I think the non-wrestling fans, the non-WWE fans and that other audience, I think that they're going to resonate with um, fighting with my family because there are a few elements in it that are universal. Of course, love, family, support, um, perseverance, and also something I think that's very important that um, young men can lean into, but more importantly, young women can lean into, is just this ideology that if you don't fit into a box, it doesn't mean that you're not going to make it. If you don't conform, it doesn't mean that you can't be successful. So conformity doesn't equate success. So much like in Paige's life and the family and the little town she came from, because on paper, uh, odds are stacked against her, right, to make it. So to go from Norwich to the WWE and then to go on to become this huge star that she became, the odds were stacked against her. So just that is a universal element I think that everybody can relate to. When I first got to Hollywood, there was no blueprint of, oh, is there a black Samoan wrestler who kind of raises his eyebrow and looks the way he looked? No, at that time it was George Clooney and Brad Pitt, and I did not look like those guys. Um, so I do think there's elements here that um, – that make it really universally appealing for those who aren't WWE fans, um, and especially for young women. Now, if you are a WWE fan, part of the WWE universe, what I'm finding is they have really responded to, not only do we pull the curtain back and showcase our business that we all love, um, and show you kind of like how the sausage is made, if you will, backstage, the details, the complexities, everything that goes on backstage that the WWE universe understands and follows. My theory is, and what I've been um, sensing when I've watched the movie with WWE fans, and they don't know I'm in there, so I'm like a creep with my hat down low, and I'm kind of watching them watch the movie. How do you sneak in? Uh, when the movie starts. <laughs> and really... Impressive. <laughs> hat down low. But what I found is what they're responding to, this is why I'm so excited for WWE fans to watch the movie as well as regular fans, um, is... The, the movie was made with such respect and reverence to the wrestling business. Because a lot of times, you know, when it comes to pro wrestling and making movies or TV shows, it's not always seen in the best light. Aaron, Darren Aronofsky is a very good buddy of mine, did an amazing job with The Wrestler. I mean, and The Wrestler, like a lot of, that was my dad, that was my Uncle Jimmy, that was my uncles who wound up like that. So, but there's also, that's the underbelly of wrestling. There's also this really amazing side to wrestling. And we showcase that. And I think the fans are, the WWE fans are, are feeling the love and reverence. So I was able to produce the movie and the filmmakers that I was lucky enough to assemble um, all came in it with, and, and the actors, by the way, all came in with an open mind, um, got the business of wrestling in their blood and delivered this movie that, where you actually really honor the world of wrestling and it's very cool. So look, you know, for Paige to go where she has come from, Norwich, odds stacked against her, <clears throat> to NXT, to then WWE, and then she goes on to become this huge star. But not only that, but then she goes on to become a pivotal, um, a, a pivotal face in a revolution and an evolution of women's wrestling and, and pro wrestling. It's just spectacular. So.